you know, when you look back on your career, all the, the decades that you put behind you, what do you think was your greatest moment? Well, what was the moment that you look back into and say, okay, you know, I'm, I'm the most proud of this situation right here? Okay, well, when I, when I reached the top, I'll say that was in, uh, in, in the 80s. In the 80s. Okay. And, and what, what, made you, what made you think that you reached the top at that point? Well, because I had everything, you know, I'd come, I'd conference what I wanted to do. You know, just like I said in the book, I conquered the stage and the streets. Yep. I had all my yep. stripes, you know. Do you miss pimping at all, being out of it for a while? Well, you know, the, the, the media asked me the same thing you do. If you could turn the time back, would you do it again? Yeah, I would have more money and more sense with it. I ain't going to lie, like some players say, no, man, I would never do that. Yeah, I would. If you okay. time back. And when you look back about all that time, what do you think were your biggest mistakes along the way? I think my biggest mistakes were the ones that, you know, that I didn't, uh, I tried to do some things my way and didn't work out. So listening to my OG peers, you know, it was, it was older cats, pips, that, took me up on their wing because they seen something in me and uh, they showed me the ropes, you know. They showed me uh, how to cop and blow gold, you know. Like they told me, they, they told, I learned the hard way, you know. Like they told me, they said the game is cop and blow, you know what I'm saying, me. So I learned how to do that. I learned how to keep from them from knocking off my, my women. Well, and during your music career, you actually dealt with a lot of very prominent artists. Uh, you were on tour with uh, Ike and Tina Turner at one point, right? Oh, yeah, I was Ike and Tina for a long time, you know, and then uh, I left them. Then I made my first, my first record in uh, Los Angeles called You Got the Nerve of a Big Brass Monkey on the 45 for uh, Dutong Records, Dutsy Williams. And then I was with... Uh, Top records, you know, and then I was with uh, the record company out of New York, which was called uh, Fedora. And then I did some stuff for Mountain Top, you know, and uh, got a lot of stuff, had a lot of stuff out there. And you said, uh, you said that Ike Turner was, was kind of like a pimp himself. I, I, Turner, I Turner was a gangster, I would say, man, you know, because I Turner, you know, he, he ran his business, you know, he, he you know, he, he ran the, 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 the Mike Hits, you know. I mean, you know, he, he ran his business, you know. I mean, he, that's where he was, you know. And uh, before he passed, we was at the last uh, Players Ball in Los Angeles, you know, me and I, you know. I, I was actually, I was actually there. Oh, you I know. I, I was I was there. I had yeah, an orange suit I, on. I, 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 I was I was filming. Pictures and things together. Yeah, that's, I, I remember. That's, that's I remember the, he walked in. He was really short. I I couldn't believe how small he was. That's right. That's right. We were together. Yeah, and I actually interviewed uh, one of his backup dan backup singers. Hold on, I'm going to tell you exactly who it is. Uh, she she owned a, a soul, she owns a soul food restaurant. Oh, Hold I know you should talk about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on, I'm going to tell you exactly who this is. She's down in Atlanta, ain't she? Okay. Uh, Robbie, yeah, uh, Robbie Montgomery. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, I remember her. Yeah, I remember I interviewed her, and I showed her a video of Ike Turner about how he he was talking about how he used to you know beat up uh, Tina Turner, mm -hmm. you know, and she said that back then, you know, you didn't have terms like you know, bipolar and so forth. You were just crazy. <laughs> and she said, Ike Turner was basically crazy. That was probably his reason, because he was, we didn't know then at the time, but he was bipolar. He was so, bipolar. I, that's what we call it now. Back then, we called it crazy. So, <laughs> <laughs> so Ike was a little crazy. He was a little crazy. I don't know. <laughs> Did you ever see Ike beat uh, Tina Turner? No. No. I ain't never seen him fight. Okay. Well, you knew uh, Little Richard also. Yeah, I know, yeah, I knew Richard. Yeah, I know Richard Penniman. He wanted okay. to be a chauffeur. <laughs> okay. In Los Angeles, but I, I was, I, I declined on that. I said, Richard, I'm gonna buy a meal. He had a pink Cadillac. 
1957. And I'm going to buy a milk cow like two, Richard. I ain't going to, I'm going to drive my own car. <laughs> and but you did. Good, but we go friends. Okay. Well, and you were actually Etta James' first boyfriend. Yeah, that's true, too. Okay. And that that's a legend right there, Etta James. That's one of the greatest singers, period. That's right. How, how did that relationship come about? I met in Golden Gate, I met in Steiner Street Park, Overlook Park, where they got, right there with Full House, there, where they filmed Full House, right there in Steiner and Hayes Street. I met her and I met my, I met her in Sugar Pie the Santo, right there. And Sugar Pie, Sugar Pie was cute. Ella was plump, but Ella had a beautiful face. So I, I went for Ella. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this was before you were pimping? Oh yeah, I was just boyfriend and girlfriend thing now. Yeah, Ella was about what, about 14? I was about what, about 15 or something around that? Oh, oh, you guys are just teenagers? Yeah, yeah, we're teenagers. Wasn't no pimping going on here. She didn't know she was going to be an entertainer, and I didn't know I was going to be an entertainer. So we met on a festival one time, and we commended each other. And then we, I think we was in uh, Spokane, Washington, where we did a show together. Okay. Did you have any idea how big Etta James was going to be? No. Mm -mm. Okay, but she went down as one of the greatest. That's right. They sent me the obituary from my funeral in uh, 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 Los Angeles. Yeah, man, quite a loss. She died in uh, 2012, San I think. San Pedro, they had a big uh, funeral in San Pedro. Yeah. Yeah, and they sent me the obituary. Yeah, man, very sad. A very uh, a great talent, you know, but she won six Grammy Awards, and yeah. she's in the... You know, the Grammy Hall of Fame. <laughs> this is, mm -hmm. you know, she pretty much reached the very top. Yes, she was. Yeah, man, rest in peace.